Welcome back everybody to another episode of Direct Comparison. In today's episode, we're looking at the recently released Forza Horizon 4 and seeing how it stacks up visually to Ubisoft's open world racing game, The Crew 2. Before we begin, keep in mind that both titles are being run on the PC platform, with their graphics pushed up to their highest value at a 1440p resolution, and motion blur is disabled to help capture the cleanest footage. I tried my best to match up the time of day for these comparisons, but due to Forza Horizon 4 being set in Europe and not including an option to easily set the time of day, there may be some minor differences in the sun positioning and scene luminosity. Also, bear in mind that the Crew 2's gameplay focus is much larger in scope, thanks to the absolutely massive world to explore and the inclusion of a large variety of different vehicles including airplanes and boats, so that could potentially have an impact on its visual quality. Alright, so to start this comparison off, let's look at a couple car models and textures. First up, we have the Ford Mustang Fastback, with the same factory red paint job. You'll notice a few minor differences between the cosmetics of the car itself, but the real focus is on the quality of the textures and complexity of the model as a whole. Surprisingly, the Crew 2 seems to have a much richer color in these comparisons, with a brighter red and more reflective surface. But that's also because the color in Forza appears more naturally and reacts realistically to the game world's lighting. This is even more evident with Forza's superior detail shadowing, which helps to outline some of the finer details. Forza Horizon 4's detail quality in general is much higher. When looking at the Corvette Stingray, we can see this plainly. Again, we can see more natural, reflective light in Forza Horizon, despite both games having matching lighting conditions and factory blue paint. The taillights look significantly better than in the Crew 2. Also, the light coming from the headlights has a nice glow to it in Forza that is completely absent from the Crew 2. And yes, they're both turned on in this image. The Crew 2's vehicle models, while detailed enough to not necessarily look bad, don't match the level of quality and complexity of Forza's vehicle models, and this also extends to the environment as well. The Crew 2's environment is absolutely massive, but that gigantic size came at a cost. Things like the road, grassy fields, and various environmental props look horrible in the Crew 2. The traffic lights don't even light up. While pedestrians are limited in Forza to standing behind barriers so that the player can't hit them, they look substantially better in terms of quality despite the repetitive models used in crowds. The Crew 2 has free-roaming civilians to help make its world look more natural, but the civilians are horribly detailed when viewed up close. Next, let's take a look at the lighting. This is what really sets these two games apart. Forza's lighting is miles better than the lighting used in The Crew 2. Everything about it feels more natural, with proper global illumination and superior specular lighting. The Crew 2's lighting looks awful, especially when traveling in the more open valley areas of the game world. Things like grass and various environmental props don't react naturally to the sunlight and glow hot white, hurting the overall image quality. There's times when it looks okay, typically during the sunset, but Forza's lighting looks good all the time and feels far more advanced. Shadow quality also looks much better in Forza. Most of Crew 2's shadows are a big blurry mess, which is fine for more distant objects, but we'd expect to see a slightly sharper shadow effect with an object closer to the ground like this vehicle. Shadow pop-in is also much less noticeable in Forza, allowing for greater detail and complexity on screen at all times. Moving on from lighting and shadows, let's look at some special effects. The Crew 2 has a little bit of a leg up here, thanks to its focus on aquatic vehicles. So, things like water quality are vastly superior than the weak water effects in Forza Horizon 4. However, no matter what I tried, I could not get water to splash up onto the surface of my car in the Crew 2. I know the game has water droplet effects during rainstorms, and those effects look great, but Forza has both rain droplets and droplets that splash up onto your car after driving through water. It also helps that in Forza, you can drive into all the bodies of water without fear of going underwater. The Crew 2 likes to reset your car as soon as you get even remotely close to submerging it. Smoke effects also appear more distinctly in the Crew 2, with thick clouds appearing when burning out that look more impressive than the small amount formed from Forza Horizon 4's burnouts. But then we have the damage modeling, which looks absolutely pathetic in the Crew 2. Driving headfirst into this wall resulted in almost no damage to my vehicle other than a cracked windshield. The vehicle can be damaged much more with multiple crashes and rolls, but even at its maximum damage level, the Crew 2's damage modeling doesn't match the quality of the damage in Forza Horizon 4. This also extends to the environmental destruction. One of my favorite things in Forza Horizon 4 is the destructible stone walls and fences that go flying when you smash into them. The Crew 2 has destructible objects just like this, but not nearly as many, and not nearly as complex. Finally, let's listen to a few sound comparisons. Which game do you think has the better overall sound quality?
And that wraps up this episode of Direct Comparison. Overall, I think it's safe to say that Forza Horizon 4 has the superior overall presentation. The vehicle models, environmental quality, lighting, and destructibility are all much better than what's on display in the Crew 2. However, the Crew 2 does have superior water quality and some nice smoke effects. They're both really fun games to play, but if you are looking for the best visual presentation in an open world racing game, then Forza Horizon 4 is the way to go. But what do you guys think? Which game do you think looks better? Let me know in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this posted every week.